the same uh, enthusiasm. Well, I really feel that that translates in the film, and it's so much more than a circus film. It also is, I think, a fantastic melodrama of the love triangle between you, Tony Curtis, Bert, and Bert Lancaster, and what did it feel like to be the woman that they're both fighting over? But the character was a tough girl. She wanted to arrive, to, to be the star. And obviously, you know, I had to play with the both of them. <laughs> like the women normally they do when they can. <laughs> but uh, at the end, uh, I end up with uh, Lancaster because uh, I liked him. Uh, and I uh, get away from uh, the first partners for another uh, number that was not so important. Well, another thing I love about the film is your costumes. Ah. Beautiful costumes. And did you have any hand in, in choosing some of those some of those beautiful outfits? Uh, I, of course, I, I I know drawing. I know to make dresses, and I wanted very nice uh, uh, fits, and uh, they were done by hand. So they were very uh, elastic. And uh, uh, all of the professional in the circus, they called this, because they were very beautiful uh, costumes. Yes, I can tell. And there, just if we may, there's, you've worked with so many fantastic actors. Of course, Humphrey Bogart, who we saw in Beat the Devil. That was your first film that was the released in America. Uh, the first, uh, American movie was Bitter Devil. Was a Seth Snake producing it? It was the producer and was the husband of Jennifer Jones. So I arrived with a lot of enthusiasm to do the film. And then Seth Snake uh, called me and uh, uh, I said, everything is okay. I signed the, uh, what, what uh, I, I told him to do, what he wanted. He said, if, uh, you know, if you can not do the film, we pay you anyhow. <laughs> but uh, it's better that you don't do the film. I looked at him and I said, I'm sorry. I signed the contract and I will do the film. <laughs> I was afraid uh, that perhaps uh, I was uh, too beautiful uh, near Jennifer Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it happened, you know, very often in the movie. It's terrible. And did you, did you like uh, working with Humphrey Bogart? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Humphrey Bogart was very funny. I mean, on the film, uh, he played always a very serious, uh, in all the character. Mm -hmm. But in real life, he was uh, coming on the steps, uh, down, uh, uh, laughing, <laughs> and, 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 and singing all the time. It was really uh, uh, a true matter of fact. And in the evening, they fight each other just for fun. <laughs> and the this one always true matter of fact that was the smallest. <laughs> <laughs> and we had also uh, the fame uh, photographers. Uh, uh, Name, Robert Kappa. is the god of photographers today. So I learned photography from the best because I, I met uh, uh, a lot of uh, now the photography with this. Uh, uh, new uh, system, uh, mm -hmm. is a disaster. Even a, a, a child of five years old uh, can be a, a, a good photographer. <laughs> <laughs> Another <laughs> film. To the end of photography, <laughs> because the real uh, photograph was the one that we had before, the negative. 
Yes. <laughs> you could play around with the light more with the older. It's the, the zest of the initial. <laughs> Another film I was going to ask you about is you, you were able to work with uh, Tyrone Power on his very last film, Solomon and Bathsheba. Yes, yes. I know you were very close with him. I was in uh, Madrid. We were all in a hotel. I need to my change. I had one role. Uh, he was uh, up to me, the producer, another, another role. And uh, I remember. It was a pleasure to work with him. Uh, one night, I think that it was about three o'clock, he called me and I said, what happened? He said, Gina, I must tell you that I had a pleasure to work with you so much that I couldn't sleep. I had to tell you. <laughs> it was touching because it was very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one day, he had to do a fight with uh, oh, the other actor. Uh, George Sanders. George Sanders? George Sanders? Yo credo, George yeah, Sanders, yo yeah, credo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. And uh, I, I was a, a I was afraid of the light uh, of the film that I didn't like it very much. And then he, he was on my lot. And uh, he said, the curata, the, the costume, and mm -hmm. he said, I can't breathe. And then uh, he went down, turned to me, saying, don't worry. And he tried to go up to the other roulotte, his roulotte, mm -hmm. he couldn't do it. They had to help him. And then he started to try to, to breathe, he couldn't. And uh, he didn't have the card at that moment. I said, take my card. So he was just uh, dying. When he went to my car for the hospital, he didn't arrive to the hospital. Mm -hmm. He died uh, just uh, going uh, in a car. For uh, a month, we remained there. We saw him uh, pull out uh, the, the bird that was for the film, and uh, he looked uh, like. Uh, Ten years younger. Mm. And then it was the wife pregnant. And uh, he was she was speaking with him. And uh, the son, I mean it was uh, it, it, it terrible. I had I mean to see at uh, other work uh, they told me uh, that uh, he was uh, bad. They told me I was the first to know. And uh, we stayed one month uh, because we really didn't know what to do in the film. Was uh, just left uh, about uh, some scene uh, uh, intimate, so they needed very badly. They can't have just uh, the battles, mm -hmm. but uh, the intimate scene. So we, we, they had to decide what to do. Then uh, they decided to put another actor and came uh, uh, Jung Brenner. Jung Brenner, yeah. Uh, I didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, immediately he was a photographer. So immediately he started to do some photograph uh, when I was doing a, a battle between uh, <laughs> the Queen of Sheba. Yes. It was, uh, uh, and, uh, but uh, at the end, uh, we went along very, very well. Uh, actually, we went along uh, quite well because I don't know what happened. That physically, when we kissed each other, 
Sim, com 20 stop. O diretor disse stop. E vim aqui. E vim aqui. It happened, I mean, to the 60 films, it happened just once with, uh, with him, with your brother. Well, I, I, one thing I was going to say is it just it shows the amazing sacrifices that actors <laughs> make. <laughs> Kissing you. I feel Burt Lancaster in this film. You have wonderful chemistry with uh, with Burt Lancaster. Yes, I want but, uh, but, but. <laughs> he was also a producer. So he started to direct and say what to do to the actor. I said, I, I was waiting for my turn because uh, I would never let him direct me. <laughs> I mean, with Carol Reed, you know, you can't do that. Yes. So it arrived that day. Then I said, I'm sorry, Mr. Lancaster, but I am here and my director is uh, uh, Carol Reed. So he remained a little bit like that. But you know, you had to say something like that. Mm -hmm. So he was uh, not very pleased, but after he come, and he realized that, that he was wrong. <laughs> well, it's an amazing film, and thank you so much for being here. You're gonna have another conversation tomorrow. But thank you so much for being here. You look just as beautiful in person as you do on the screen. If we show. You, you saw the film Trapeze? Yeah. yeah. We're just about to watch it. No, no, it's the first time you saw it now. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With this classic film. You can see it 10 times uh -huh. and it's okay. That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Put it along with Regina. Bravo! Bravo!